Hello and welcome to Love My Poland. You know, if there is one thing I will never forget about my first impression of Poland, it's the bird's eye view of the unique pattern of fields you see when flying over. And if you ever have the chance, fly in around this time of the year, May and spring. It is the ideal time to check out the existence of beautiful fields like this one. For most of you watching, I assume this isn't much of a surprise, but it was for me. The beautiful bright yellow flowers you see everywhere around me, these crops are called rzepak in Polish or rapeseed in English. I wanted to learn more about the matter, so I did a bit of research on these rapeseed fields, asking my neighbors, my friends, family members, and of course, digging up as much current information as I could from the net. It's going to be a true pleasure for me to share my findings with you today on these fields, so here it comes. If you didn't know it already, rapeseed is an essential crop used in a variety of areas like the production of canola oil, biodiesel, you can find it in shampoos and other cosmetics. It's of course ideal for making lubricants and it's also a common ingredient in a lot of animal feed. But being an American living in Poland, the thought crossed my mind, what about the good old USA? Surely our gigantic country grows a lot more rapeseed than Poland does, right? Wrong. According to data from worldatlas.com, Poland is number seven in worldwide rapeseed production, approaching nearly three million tons annually, and number three in EU production behind only France and Germany. Incredibly, the USA didn't even show up in the top 10. According to my research, the US comes in at just 1.5 million tons per year. I was shocked though, most of all, to find out that Canada is the world leader with around 21 million tons annually. In closing, when I'm back in America and people ask me what I love about Poland the most, what I love about living here, one of the examples I give them is how beautiful the country is during the warm months especially, from the seaside down to the mountains. And I've been trying to convince myself year by year that I need to get to the local airport and get a ride in a plane and take some good photos of what Poland looks like from the air. Well this year, I got lucky, I got some. And it's all thanks to my friend Paula Pam Malitska, who is a press secretary with Aero Club Częstochowski right here at Rudniki Airport. She recently tagged along on a glider ride, she's very brave, and she took some really nice video just for me and my channel. So without further ado, here is that footage. Take a look at how beautiful Poland is from the air, look for those rapeseed fields, and I will see you in the next episode. 